You're about to watch the Polly Detmerts channel. Enjoy. All right, folks, Polly here. And no, this is not a pizza review. This is going to be a pop review. Yes, I said pop. Here in Michigan, you call it pop. On the West Coast, you might say soda. East Coast, you might say soda pop. Down in Texas, you just call it Coke. Anyhow, the pop today is going to be this one that I already showed you. It's going to be from Fago, the Dreamin' Orange Cream Soda Pop. Yeah, you see me had you see me had some in my last video. If you watched that video, I was very excited to find this pop. Uh, I learned of it coming out maybe a month or two prior to actually finding it. I was going to a local gas station where they do sell a lot of Fago. I went to other, uh, several stores. None of them had it. Um, I posted on my Facebook page. I was gonna. I'm on a mission to find it. And the next day, boom! I found it. And uh, so far, I've had about three of these. This is probably number four. <laughs> Very excited to have. It. Now, so I'm gonna try to do a little pop review for you right here, right now. So let's get it open. Let's see what kind of carbonation we got. If I could just open it. <laughs> okay, we got a little, we got a little bit of a hiss, right? Yeah. Whew. Them boys at the Fago Company in Detroit, they really pop on a cap, don't they? So much better, I think, and so good out of the bottle. But for you, the best subscribers on YouTube, I do this for you. Don't want to drink too much because I don't want to pee the bed tonight. It's after 11 o'clock, I gotta go to bed pretty soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, we got a little, a little bit of bubbly on top. No head like a root beer or anything like that. I do see bubbles clinging to the glass. Maybe a little lady that can clean this glass good enough. Who knows? But uh, look at that color. It is a milky orange. Anybody, anybody else might just say it's just orange, but it's kind of a blood orange. Very nice. Let me get a nose on it. I'm going to do this like a beer review. Get a nose on it. Oh, yeah. I get that. I smell creamsicle. Orange creamsicle. Without the stick, of course. All right, let's give her a swallow. You're watching the Polly Detmerts channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's like a creamsicle melted in the glass, got refrigerated, and then got poured down my throat. <sighs> oh. I love the Fago brand. So many Fago flavors out there. They keep coming out with more. I thought the company was kind of dead. I, After coming back home, I learned they've been coming out with new flavors. And you've seen all of them. But I didn't know they were new. I thought they were just some established from years ago. But come home and I find out about a new flavor. I'm like, whew. Fago is alive and well in Detroit, down there on Gratiot Avenue. I love Gratiot Avenue, back in the day at least. What else can I say? It's just total greatness. As a child, I loved Fago Red Pop. And on TV, you always had Fago commercials on TV. They were on the Bablo Boat. Bablo Boat was a that went up and down the Detroit River, took you to an amusement park, and then brought you back end of the day. Fago commercials were on the Bablo Boat. <laughs> Everybody ready? Comic books and rubber bands Climbing to the treetop Falling down and holding hands Tricycles and red pop Pony rides and Sunday nights Roller skates and yo-yo 
<clears throat> Outstanding. I'll give this figle orange orange cream soda dreaming dreaming orange cream soda. I'll give it five bottle caps. On the Polly Detmer's bottle cap rating. Let me get one drink out of the bottle because it's so much better than in the glass. Memories. Fago is a great memory. And you knew if someone was drinking Fago as a kid, you know, when you're around other kids, because they'd always have a red or orange mustache. <laughs> all right, folks, thank you for watching. Appreciate you all so much. If you find this pop, let me know what you think of it. Because I love it. <laughs>